In the annals of history, marked by the horrors of World War II, one name stands out for his brutality in the Wisogori region of Poland. Albert Schuster, known as the Butcher of Wisogori, embodied the darkest aspects of the Nazi regime. Born in the early 20th century, the year 1912 to be precise, in a Germany fraught with political and social unrest, Albert Schuster's life was shaped by the turbulent times he was born into. Growing up amidst the aftermath of World War I, he was a child of a defeated nation, a nation struggling with economic hardships and political instability. In these challenging times, the appealing rhetoric of the Nazi party, promising stability, strength, and national pride, resonated with many, including young Schuster. The rise of the Nazi party in 1933 marked a turning point in his life. The extremist ideology preached by the party found a willing follower in Schuster, who was drawn towards their promises of restoring Germany's glory. Schuster's early life was fairly unremarkable, a common tale of a young man searching for meaning in a world turned upside down by war and political upheaval. However, it was this very search that led him to the doors of the Nazi party, setting him on a path that would lead to unimaginable cruelty and terror. As Schuster joined the ranks of the Nazi party, he was molded by their extremist ideals, becoming a tool for their agenda of hate and violence. His willingness to serve the party and his growing fervor for their cause marked the beginning of his transformation into the Butcher of Wisogori. Born in a time of turmoil, Albert Schuster was swept up in the wave of extremist politics that would eventually lead him down a path of unfathomable cruelty. His descent into darkness was gradual, shaped by the circumstances of his time, and fueled by a twisted ideology that would result in a reign of terror that still haunts the annals of history. As the world plunged into war, Schuster found himself on the front lines of the Nazi expansion, a prelude to his reign of terror in the Holy Cross Mountains. The year was 1939, and the world was teetering on the brink of a conflict that would forever change the course of history. In the East, the Nazi-Soviet Neutrality Pact, an agreement that stunned the international community, left Poland vulnerable to the expansionist ambitions of two of the era's most ruthless dictators. With the pact in place, Germany initiated its invasion of Poland, marking the outbreak of World War II. Warsaw, the vibrant heart of the nation, fell within a month. The rapid defeat of Polish forces was a grim testament to the power of the Nazi war machine. As the country was carved up between Germany and the Soviet Union, the fate of its people hung in the balance. Among the German forces was Albert Schuster, then an unremarkable soldier among thousands. Yet, the invasion of Poland would provide the stage for his ascent to infamy. The fall of Warsaw and the subsequent division of Poland would lead Schuster to the Wisogori region, an area that would soon tremble under his reign of terror. In the midst of the world's darkest hour, the stage was set for the emergence of a man who would come to symbolize the brutality of the Nazi regime. A man who would exploit the chaos of war to commit heinous acts of violence. A man who, in the coming years, would earn the chilling moniker of the Butcher of Wisogori. As the world watched in horror, the stage was set for the emergence of the Butcher of Wisogori. With each operation, Schuster solidified his reputation as a merciless executioner responsible for the deaths of over 400 innocent lives between March and July 1943. Albert Schuster's reign of terror was most pronounced in the peaceful villages of Wola Szczygiełkowa and Bodzenten, nestled in the heart of the Holy Cross Mountains. Under the guise of pacification operations, Schuster, the butcher of Wisogori, committed atrocities that would forever darken the history of these innocent hamlets. His actions were not those of a soldier, but of a monster. He did not distinguish between the old and the young, the weak and the strong. His victims were not enemy combatants but the innocent civilians of occupied Poland. Men, women and children alike fell prey to his ruthless campaign. The once vibrant villages were reduced to silent monuments of his cruelty, their inhabitants either brutally murdered or driven away in fear. In Wola Szczygiełkowa, Schuster's forces descended upon the village like a storm leaving destruction in their wake. The villagers were rounded up, their pleas for mercy falling on deaf ears. They were then systematically slaughtered, their bodies left as a grim testament to Schuster's ruthlessness. 
In Bodzinton, the story was no different. The village was razed to the ground, its inhabitants subjected to the same brutal fate as their neighbors in Wolaszczygiełkoła. The air was filled with the stench of death, the ground stained with the blood of the innocent. Yet instead of condemnation, Schuster's actions were rewarded by the very regime he served. His rally of death in the Opochno area, a horrific campaign against Jews and Poles, earned him commendations from his superiors. They hailed him as a hero, oblivious to the countless lives he had snuffed out in his quest for power and dominance. Rewarded by the regime he served, Schuster's actions during the rally of death further exemplified the depths of his cruelty. His reign of terror was a chilling reminder of the extent of human depravity, a dark chapter in the annals of World War II. Decades after the war's end, justice began to close in on Schuster, culminating in a trial that would end his reign of terror. The world had changed, but the memory of Schuster's atrocities lingered like a dark shadow over the Holy Cross Mountains. The Polish War Crimes Commission, committed to bringing war criminals to justice, had its sights set on the butcher of Wisegori. This was no easy task. Schuster had slipped through the fingers of justice for years, living under a false identity in East Germany. However, the Polish Commission was relentless in its pursuit. They tirelessly compiled evidence, testimonies, and documents, building an irrefutable case against Schuster. Their dedication was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a refusal to let the past be forgotten. Meanwhile, the Stasi East Germany's secret police played a pivotal role in Schuster's capture. Unbeknownst to Schuster, they had been surveilling him for some time. In a twist of fate, the very regime he had once served was now instrumental in his downfall. His arrest in 1972 sent shockwaves through the world. The Butcher of Wisogori, the man responsible for the death of over 400 innocent lives, was finally in custody. The trial that followed was a spectacle of justice that the world had been waiting for. In the courtroom, Schuster was confronted with the weight of his actions. The testimonies of survivors, the evidence of his brutal campaigns, the pain and suffering he had caused, were all laid bare. There was no escape, no denial. The mask of the butcher was stripped away, revealing a man who had lost his humanity to hatred and extremism. The trial was more than just a legal proceeding. It was a catharsis, a reckoning. It was about giving a voice to the victims, about ensuring that their stories were heard and their pain acknowledged. It was about the triumph of justice over evil, about the affirmation of our shared humanity. In the face of overwhelming evidence, the butcher of Wisagori was finally brought to justice. His reign of terror had ended, but the echoes of his brutality would continue to serve as a grim reminder of the darkest chapters of our history. In the final moments of his life, Albert Schuster faced the consequences of his actions, leaving behind a legacy marked by horror and suffering. His deeds, a stark reminder of the dark side of human nature, etched a deep scar in the annals of history. As Schuster stood before the hangman's noose in Leipzig prison, the gravity of his crimes hung heavy in the air. He had unleashed a reign of terror, his name synonymous with the senseless slaughter of over 400 innocent lives. Yet, as he faced his end, the world bore witness to a chilling truth. Justice, though often delayed, is never denied. The execution of Albert Schuster was not only an act of retribution, but also a testament to the relentless pursuit of justice. His trial and subsequent punishment demonstrated a commitment to holding even the most monstrous of individuals accountable for their actions. Schuster's legacy, however, extends beyond the confines of his earthly existence. His actions in the Wisegori region of Poland serve as a stark reminder of the depths to which humanity can sink in times of war and conflict. Yet it's crucial to remember that his story is not just one of unfathomable cruelty, but also one of resilience and the indomitable spirit of those who survived his reign of terror. In the decades following Schuster's execution, the memories of his victims have been kept alive, their stories serving as a powerful counter-narrative to the hatred and extremism that he represented. The people of Wisegori, and indeed the world, have chosen to remember, to mourn, and most importantly, to learn from this dark chapter in history. Albert Schuster's story is a grim reminder of the capacity for human cruelty 
and the enduring need for justice and memory in the face of darkness. It is a call for vigilance, a plea for humanity to never forget the horrors of the past, to remember those who suffered, and to guard against the resurgence of such darkness. In the end, the legacy of Albert Schuster is not just one of destruction and death, but also one of hope and resilience. It is a testament to the power of justice, memory, and the unyielding human spirit. Thank you for joining us on this harrowing journey through the life and legacy of Albert Schuster. History is a powerful teacher, and it is our responsibility to learn from it and ensure that such atrocities do not repeat. If you found this documentary enlightening, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and follow us for more historical insights. Sharing this video can help spread awareness about the horrors of war and the importance of remembering our past. Together, we can ensure that the lessons of history are not forgotten. We need to remember, learn and grow, and make sure that the world never has to witness such darkness again. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, share, and stay tuned for more thought-provoking content.